Welcome. Infonomy is a uh, why shy. However, you pronounce this name right here, iPad X. And today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this tablet. Now you can see that the one that I have right in front of me is unlocked using a pattern. And I can also unlock it using the Google account if I click right there. As you can see, there we go, verify your account. And lastly, you can also see this tiny little icon right here that obviously signifies the device is locked. So, anyway. To get started with the bypass, uh, you want to number one, connect to some kind of network. I have already done so, as you can see, based on the tiny little icon next to the battery. And if I back out, you will be able to see it right here that I'm connected. So once you connect to your Wi-Fi, go back to the first page. And from here, you will want to select the emergency call, emergency information. Tap on the edit icon right here and select add contact. Tap on the search bar. And this will bring up right here your keyboard and you want to click on this microphone that is part of the keyboard. Now it should show you uh, this kind of uh, little here a page, uh, allow a keyboard to record audio. You want to select deny. Now before I progress any further, um, I'll mention that there is a chance that this does not show up and it will automatically start listening to you. Uh, without giving you this pop-up. If that is the case for you, go back uh, again to the setup page and start over. The second time around when you get back here, it should give you that pop-up. So again, we're gonna do that once more, tap on a, a little icon right there, and then we're gonna select deny and don't ask again. And then we're gonna press on it again and select allow here. As you can see, this opens up a app info page right here. So what do you want to do? is tap on permissions and you want to click on the search and you'll type in settings click on search you want to scroll all the way down and you will find just a settings, uh, just simple settings. As you can see, there are settings, storage, and so on. You're looking for this one right here. Once you click on it, you will select open. This will take us to the settings. From here, you want to navigate to security right here. Screen pinning. Enable it. And also enable lock device when unpinning. Now, if you recall, if you don't, you can go back to the beginning of the video. Um, my way of verifying the previously uh, used protection was through a pattern. So I could use a pattern to verify it. Right now, I'll set up something completely different just to just so it differs, so you can see the difference. Um, so I'm gonna select pin. Now, I do also recommend you to choose the same thing as I do. It will make it a little bit easier when I'm going through and putting my pin in. You can put the same exact pin. So I'm going to select pin. I'm going to make it one, two, three, four. There you go. Select next. Repeat it. Confirm. Now from here, oh, can I now hold par key? Once we have enabled that, and we're going to select restart. This will reboot the device. And once it's back up, we can then progress through the setup. And you will notice that verification will now give us an option to verify it instead of a pattern using a pin. So we're just going to put that pin that we have literally set up. Now, to explain what has happened, as uh, once you set up that pin, the device can only keep one at a time. Uh, one pattern, pin, or password. So basically only one unlocking method. And once you set up a sc uh, screen pinning, it forces you to set one up because there is no pin set up. But once you add it, it replaces the old one. So right now the device booted back up. Uh, we'll need to unlock it. So again, one, two, three, four. And we can progress through the setup.
And as you can see, verify pin. So again, one, two, three, four. And there we go. Now, we can now finish up the setup and I believe the device is unlocked, though just to be certain, I would recommend performing a factory reset of the tablet through settings. This will ensure that uh, all the old stuff that might have been kept on this device will be removed. So to do so, you just simply navigate into your settings application, navigate to system, advanced, and then reset options, and you will select erase all data factory reset. This is just as a last uh, kind of step, which I recommend doing. You don't have anything on here, so doing this is just a kind of like a additional step just to make sure uh, that everything is fully unlocked to remove any kind of potential problems in the future. Um, but like I said, I think the device is unlocked, though I still recommend going through this through this process right here uh, just to kind of make like absolutely sure that everything is unlocked. Now obviously this will go to the factory reset which takes a couple minutes and then you will be back in the setup screen at which point you will be able to set up your device however you like. It will be fully unlocked at that point. So anyway that being said this is how you could bypass the Google verification on this tablet and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching.